ROS2 is open source and it has a lot of community. Now this community provides us with very useful ROS2 packages. To utilize those packages, some beginners and intermediate get into trouble because they require Docker, they require VCS ROS step tools or sub modules. Now in this video, we are going to look into all of these three things and understand how to run a repository that has sub modules and what are the ways to build it in our own system locally. Let's start from this robotism drones ROS2. I get into this repository and it is public. I copied its address. You can also get the HTTPS. Let's go into our terminal into the workspace that I have created in the source directory. There is nothing inside of it and we perform git clone and get this. If I open up my home directory, robot workspace, source, drones, ROS2 and this has been cloned. Interesting thing here is we have a package that is a sub module. If I click upon it, it is going to bring me to another repository which is forked from this. Now you have to understand the relation here. I have forked this repository and it has came to the point that I have added it to sub module. The purpose of sub moduling is a specific commit is forked and that commit is added into our own package and it stays till the point the owner has saved the repository. Now let's get back to this. If I open up SJTU, it is not going to appear. Neither it is going to work if I perform call can build. But apparently it says that package has been finished perfectly. But if I say source install setup and ROS2 launch drive drone, double tap the available launch files, P1A drone, because I know it utilizes SJTU package. And it says SJTU drone bring up is not found. And in here, no explanation is given. We have to understand that for sub modules, we have to install them by ourselves, and it is not a hard thing. I already have added wiki into this repository that whenever you have sub modules, you just need to run these commands and it is going to automatically clone the sub modules. Git sub module initialize, but you have to run it inside of the repository that you have cloned, which is drone ROS2 git sub module in it. It says that it has registered git sub module update and it is going to start cloning the SGTU of this whole link. Now it has cloned SGTU drone repository into this SGTU drone directory which was the sub module and we can see now the files are there. If I now perform call can build. Once that is done, we are going to source our installation and run the same launch file that we ran previously. And this time we can see the whole simulation is working and the package is now properly cloned. Next thing is VCS, which is version control system. And it is very important that most of the ROS2 repositories use that. So if we take a look here, which is TurtleBot3 very popular robot repository, we are going to be obtaining the Humble development branch because we have ROS2 Humble. And here if you look at, we have .repos name file. It is a YAML file, but it contains different repositories and their branches. You can also mention commits, but the previous method was to add specific branch by getting the whole repository in itself. But this is giving just the URL to the repository and the branch you are interested in. First of all, why do we need it? As let me show you that I already have cloned this humble development branch in the source directory. It is there. But if I perform call can build. It is going to throw me an error that this specific package is not here. And this is the reason why we need these dot repos files. If I bring up the terminal, first of all, I need to go into the source directory because I want to download all of the packages mentioned here inside of the source. That's why I have to be in source. Now, after installing VCS, I'll write VCS import skip existing. And what is the source here? It is turtlebot3, turtlebot3.repos and let's press enter. What is happening if I open this up? 
you can see it is first of all cloning the same repository that i have that's why i have written the skip existing and then it clones all of the remaining others so we will skip this one and and then clone all of the remaining into my source directory and you can see now utils is here which contains these things and turtlebot 3 is here now it has skipped the existing directory turtlebot 3 and cloned all of the remaining now let's perform calcan build again and we can see they have successfully been built if i source it and run it ros to launch turtlebot three gazebo turtle bot three world the whole simulation is going to work perfectly fine with sub modules and vsc tool we keep the things with the proper ownership if i clone it without forking it a repository and then push into my own repository without adding it to sub modules and deleting the github we violate ownership authority of the real person so sub moduling and these git tools are actually good for keeping the privacy and ownership for the real creator of the package so you have to practice it as it is open source real author should be taken into consideration this repository by cbase turtlebot3 behavior demos amazing repository for understanding how ros2 navigation and behavior tree works together with one another now there are multiple things here the first one is working with dependencies.repos directly installing it the way we did with vcs tool but now let's run the docker of it because simple command has to be run and it works perfectly Docker system is quite easy to work with as all of the dependencies and everything is comp compressed into one single format. I have already cloned it. Let me move into that directory. Now this is the directory that contains all of now this is the directory which is cloned from here. It says perform docker compose build i already have done that you can do the same process into local system as well creating your own workspace into source directory clone it then perform vcs import the way that we just did the same procedure and perform raw step install to install all of the ROS based dependencies. Now coming to the basic use of Docker, it says when you are inside of the repository, you are going to run this command, which is Docker compose overlay bash. You get into the Docker that contains all of these files. And this is very interesting for developers. If I open up another VS code and I open up this Docker, here we can see an overlay has started and I can access all of the files inside of Docker. For example, if I'm looking for code for this integration of behavior trees, I can go into my Docker file, which is nothing else than a Ubuntu system. As we can see, overlay, workspace, source, and it contains autonomy, which contains the behavior tree package and TB3 world contains the turtle bot three. We can even open all of the files like autonomy node.cpp we can open it here and I can go through all of the code and understand how things are working. But first we need to verify that things are working. So it says that you can overlay. We have done that. Now to run this behavior tree demo, it says that to start the demo, you need to first run the demo world. I have to be inside of repository directory that I have cloned. I have opened a Docker and then I will run this demo behavior till this point. Only the Arviz is going to come up and the gazebo is going to come up as the way this repository has been set. To make things work, I have to run the next command and which is to run the docker demo behavior.py. Let's take a look here. And the robot is moving according to this behavior tree go to a certain location and now you will observe when it reaches the location get next location and find blue is going to work this is a behavior tree example that we can go in detail but that makes no sense for now just running things in docker is quite easy sub modules docker and vcs raw step are tools that make your development valuable and you can get back to the previous version that's why vcs is known as version control system it is a git tool and is utilized a lot with ross now the new coming trend is in most of the companies we don't meet each other we are working online and that is the case where version control helps a lot 
that this is the comment this is the explanation you can start working from it you can create a branch and a lot of good stuff but utilizing it and understanding it makes your life quite easy to open your doors for a lot of ROS packages which have these tools and they are not simply built because they are not small packages they are dependent upon other packages and combined all those functionality produce a good output.